Welcome back to Block TV, where every day our team members scour the World Wide Web for the best offerings on crypto and blockchain. Today is no different. And Zaki Hennessy is here with everything you wanted to know, but somehow failed to make it onto your feed. What's on your feed, Zaki? I'll tell you what's on my feed. I checked the old TL, that's Twitter lingo for the timeline. And there are a few memes that I've seen go stale faster than OK Boomer. That's stale already? It's already stale. If you say it, you're, 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 wow, you're, that you're old hat. didn't last for very long, what? Listen, it was lurking in the sub threads of Twitter for a while, but it seems like only about 12 minutes after its mainstream breakout, it has pretty much completely lost all of its memetic value. OK Boomer is now a Boomer meme. Wow. You know? Uh, it seems like we haven't all escaped its siren song though, <laughs> because Bitcoin evangelist and smart man Andreas Antonopoulos has been tweeting about his struggle. He says, the most terrifying part of the OK Boomer response is that it is so incredibly satisfying. I fear I might use it too much. Is that even possible? I may be addicted. Yes, it is very possible to use it too much, though it was not us that tarnished its value. We are left with a useless relic from the lost age of the week of November 10th. It's quite a shame. Yeah, no, that was a quick turnaround. Um, you, you know, what's, what's, what's next? What's, what's going to be the big uh, meme that takes over? Yeah, it's, uh... Well, I'm glad you asked okay. because uh, your boy Brecky Von Bitcoin, speaking of the generational stuff, he graces us with this tweet in the same vein. It reads, Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, and next up you got Gen Ooh. Bitcoin B. I'm just going to call it B because, you know, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> uh, crypto nativity is on the way, and with the pomp's recent engagement, I think that he's leading the charge on that one. Uh, you'll notice that Twitter gave me the option to translate this tweet, so I obviously took them up on it. Apparently what Brecky meant to say was Gen X, Gen, 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 B. So I hear you loud and clear, Brex. Gen X, Gen, 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 Gen B to you as well. Okay, that's that's gonna see mainstream adoption. That's uh, no no doubt about it. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a hilarious, by the way, a hilarious nuanced joke, uh, yeah. where I click on the translate button, and that's the comedy. Keep them coming. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Maddie Sats, also known as Matthew Case, tweeted out a little reminder that even if you fucking blow at trading crypto, you can still invest in Bitcoin and end up better off. Don't need that stress in my life. So again, taxable event. Every time you trade crypto, uh, I don't trade. Uh, and derivatives trading. I mean, I guess you could make a lot of money or you can lose a shitload of money, but why trade the derivative when you can own the asset? And I would just rather own Bitcoin and hold that. Research has come out that, that says that if you hodl and stack over two years worth of time, um, you're better off in the long run. Uh, wh where's that article? Where's that, uh, that Twitter article I was reading? The hell is that? Hoddle, stack, don't trade, don't be a loser, don't get wrecked. Well, you're, that sounds bad to me. You're not a loser if you trade, but most of the times when you trade, you're, you're probably gonna lose. It's like betting, it's like going to Vegas, man. You're betting against the house, you don't know. It's like, you know, red or black. Spin the roulette wheel, that's your best bet. Red or black, what's it gonna land on? All right, so there you go. Don't trade. Don't get wrecked. It's that simple. Unless you actually have been doing this for an extended length of time and been paid, you're just a hobbyist. And that's okay. I have lots of friends who are into hobbies as well. Oh, my one friend makes model rockets and paper airplanes. That's a good hobby. God bless you, Matt. You <laughs> and your hopefully ironic backwards hat that you are wearing inside <laughs> of your home. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know how much of that uh, stream of consciousness uh, you, can, you can keep on listening to. And for yeah. I mean, it, there's a certain limit to it, but uh, you know, uh, you know, don't trade, don't but trade. definitely Hold give uh, give stream of consciousness spiels to, to two different cameras. <laughs> at your desk yeah. telling um, people what to do. Just like a, a Frank Underwood, Underwood style there. Yeah. All right, uh, Zaki, fantastic stuff as usual. Uh, don't go anywhere, viewers, because we're gonna be back with more crypto and blockchain news. And uh, that's it for now, thanks. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.